I'm here with head coach Patrick Hiltz of the ULM volleyball team. Coach Hiltz, talk about the, the what you've seen in practice thus far. Um, what do you expect this upcoming season? Practices have been real competitive. We've, uh, we've been able to get some of the things done from a drill standpoint, putting in a new system, getting everybody on the same page with how we do things here. We've got a lot of new players. But with all those new players, we've added depth to our roster, and that's added competition in each position. Uh, I think maybe one position is not quite as deep as the other ones, but at every other position, there is some serious competition for who's going to be on the court come August 29th. So that has increased the level of intensity in our practice, and that's something I've been really happy with. Um, girls are working real hard, and, and the, the trouble with that competition is you gotta you got to make sure that we're not getting too competitive and end up not being a good teammate. And so far from what I'm seeing, they're supporting each other very, very well while competing with that same person for a spot. And, and that's neat, you don't get that a lot. So we've got a good group of girls, a lot of them working hard, and uh, I'm excited to see what that produces on the court for us. What are some of the strengths of this team going forward into the season? I mean, other than Marcella? <laughs> You know, obviously Marcy's a, a lockdown defender, and that opens up a lot of things for us. It allows other people to worry about different things and know that Marcy's going to be able to take care of business on her side of the court. Um, again, the depth has added a lot of different things for us from an offensive standpoint. I really just think we're going to have more weapons offensively. So if we can get our set or the ball, you know, last year we became pretty predictable by the end of the season of where we were going to go, and we just had to roll with it. I think this year teams are going to have to decide what they want to try and stop, and we're still going to have a couple other options to go to uh, based on what they're trying to stop. So just, just the fact that we have more players in more positions makes us a lot tougher to figure out. And uh, we could have three different players on any given night could be our leaders in different categories statistically. So how do you plan for that? Well, it, it's tough. Last year, Hallie Swartz and Hope Pollock, they were big incoming freshmen, had a lot of kills for you for your team. What do you expect from those two going into the season? Same thing, but better. I mean, now they're sophomores. They, they've grown up a little bit. They learned. They took their lumps and bumps and bruises, but they, they took them on the court. They had on-court game experience, and not too many freshmen get that opportunity. So the fact that... 80% of our offense is coming back when you throw Caitlin Shearer in there as well. Caitlin finished strong in the middle for us. And so we got to find somebody that's going to dish the ball to them, and I think we've done that with uh, Bailey Hoffman. And then our defense has got to come together so that we get better looks more often. We were hitting out of system a lot, and those two did a great job for us. Even though everybody knew we were going to send the ball to them, they were still able to put up some numbers, and I fully expect them to continue to put up those numbers. I mean, they kind of let them loose a little bit more this year and let them use what they learned last year as freshmen to just become better players this year. It's, it's going to be interesting to see where their improvement is, and then to watch them as juniors and seniors is going to be neat as well. I'm, I'm excited that we have a very young team, but we have a talented young team, and we're going to be relying on that youth to get us through a lot of games. Any incoming freshmen or new players that caught your eye that can, you know, definitely Warhawk Nation can keep an eye on come game day? Yeah, uh, you know, Bailey's going to be a focal point of our offense, Bailey Hoffman. Um, and, and all the new players are going to be some people we rely on at some point or another. Um, Kimberly Alvarado is a transfer coming in from Monroe College out of New York. She's originally from Puerto Rico. She's a, an exciting, fun player to watch. We've got Taylor transferred in and she's going to be a neat outside hitter for us as well. She's got a very live arm and great jump serve. Um, every one of our new players, Jennifer McClendon, um, Bailey Willingham, I'm sure I'm leaving somebody off. I could look over my shoulder right now and tell you who it is, but every one of our new players has played a huge role in us being as competitive as we are in practice right now. Mary is another one. Mary has actually been able to come in and push Marcella. And so when Marcella knows that there's somebody that can do the job almost as well as she can, that pushes her to be better. And imagine us getting Marcella playing better. So it's just making us better all around. Every one of those new players was brought in for a reason, and so far they're, they're fulfilling exactly what we expected them to fulfill on the roster. The Warhawks officially open their season August 29th on the road against Sam Houston State. Stay tuned for more coverage from the Warhawks.